Edward from Daphne is on the line. He is anxious to talk uh, to you guys. Uh, Edward, welcome to Law Call. What is your question tonight for the attorneys? Hey, Edward. Uh, well, they partially just covered it in self-incrimination. That you know, my question is: you watch these TV shows, they Mirandize the murder suspect and all that. But to me, a DUI suspect isn't given the same level of warning of self-incrimination. And I mean, even the statutes say you automatically lose your license if you don't cooperate. Uh, what what is our legal responsibility and where does it cease in self-incrimination right okay great question um right. i think that from the uh, initial prospect we're talking about losing a license and there's two ways you can lose your license in alabama there's the administrative license revocation which they don't consider to be criminal they consider to be civil where a person automatically loses their license for a period of 90 days on a first offense given several uh, different uh, scenarios. A test over .08, a refusal to, for the test, or um, there's, there's a couple others. The big ones are refusal or a test over .08. That's not what they call testimonial uh, language. It's simply a scientific result of a breath test or a blood test. And when you apply for your license in this state and most others, you agree to a thing called implied consent, meaning you have agreed you will provide an answer to a police officer or provide a sample to a police officer, not an answer, right? never an answer, <laughs> a, a sample. Right. <clears throat> if you have uh, been driving on a public street or highway and the officer has a reason to believe that you have been either drinking or have consumed a substance that renders you unsafe to operate. All right, great answer.